Hey there, what's up guys? I'm just going to go ahead and pull some cards. Actually, I'm going to show the cards that I have here. And i got my blue light on. Some sage. Cleansing the space, cleansing the space. I've got lots of ideas written down, you guys. Lots of ideas. This full moon has really turned things up. <laughs> Anyways. Okay. Anyways, getting more and more ideas for cards, making decks and channel messages, anything, all kinds of stuff. Anyways, all right. Okay, so, <clears throat> really cool cards right here. Ring, love. the moon, the stars, a woman with a ring. Hmm. A beautiful gift. And this underneath the stars and the moonlight to this beautiful ballerina woman here. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay. That was a little message for somebody. Okay, some awesome cards that came out. Could be for anybody, masculine, feminine. Okay, just we have integrity. Kundalini rising with the 22 master number 22 again. Awaken. Okay, awakening. This massive awakening, this cosmic connection. The sacred journey, going along the sacred journey. Oh, with that snake energy, that kundalini, wow, right underneath the kundalini rising. Light, light your passion. Is that what it says? Ignite your passion for life. See how all of it is like just bam, lit up. The fire, go through the fire of transmutation, of awakening, all these aspects, this cosmic connection, this awaken with the in here it comes in, that integrity, okay? Integrity, what is true for you? Because what we have here is walk your truth with integrity. Walk your truth with integrity. The glare. Sorry. That'd be better. Okay. Doing my best here. Let's just see how it goes. It's just really beautiful, okay? This cosmic connection that you feel with Source, source Divine. This process of awakening, kundalini rising, the sacred journey, you walk your truth on in, in integrity because your spirit is awakening, your soul's awakening. And it says desire to change, okay? A lot of energy of desiring for the next level. Moving on because we do have that card. Here we go. Move forward. We also have let go. Moving forward, letting go, things letting go, okay, of the old cycles because the spirit has awakened. Let go. 
Ooh, that sage smells so good. Ooh. Just get it all around. Get it all around. Okay, you guys. I'm being goofy. It's okay. Definitely okay. Okay, there's lots of transformation energy coming in. Okay, lots of changes going on. Lots of desire for movement and change with this cosmic connection. Knowing we are connected, the Kundalini rising here, the integrity walking your truth, walking your path. Okay. And we have double intuition, okay? Using that intuition, using that intuition, okay? Making it stronger. Seek clarification, lots of uh, peacocks. Very highly intuitive energies coming through. Tap into that third eye, connecting to the heart chakra, the higher heart, which is right about here. Connecting to the third eye of truth. Let the wisdom pour down and fill you up. Let go down to the earth. Ground your energies. And also release to Mama Gaia. Okay. And let her uh, allow her to transmute that for you. It's beautiful. So double in on the intuition here. Double on the intuition. Doubling up on the intuition, you guys. It's that time. <laughs> With the spiritual awakening journey, it's going fast. Um, okay, so we have transformation. Transformation. Yep. With balance, okay? Because balance is pretty awesome. <laughs> Balance is awesome, but that balancing energies. Okay, so this is magical. This is really beautiful energy. One more spirit, one more. Yeah, I picked this card and I put it back and it came out. Double confirmation spirit. Thank you very much. Celebration. Let's celebrate. Okay, our victories. We have come so far. Good job, souls. What I've done. Okay. So I'm being <laughs> goofy and integrating lots of things right now. And yeah. So here we go. With that flower. The petals opening. Ooh, magic, magic. Okay. Hold on, yeah. Soul guidance, soul guidance, soul guidance. Yep, coming to life. Okay. Yep. Against the grain is here. Come to life. Conscious connections is here. So that conscious connection, so now here are the twin flame energy is coming up. Going beyond normal. Tapping into whole new frequency there's so many there's so much to there's infinite possibilities and frequencies and looking towards the higher self tapping into the higher self and saying you know what so higher self just come on in lead me from this point on further and you'll be amazed at what <laughs> I'm going through this experience double time double triple where it's really uh, higher self is stepping in Ariel change this Ariel do this it's time for this now now's the time move forward do this I want you to try this out even though you know it's that energy going beyond normal there is no normal that's called um, normal yeah that's called being imprisoned I mean there's an infinite amount of opportunities, an infinite amount of expressions, right? And experiences in this realm. 
going against the grain and coming to life. We have this coming to life. I love this one. She's painting herself. She's coming to life. Let me clarify this. But, but this is that conscious connection with all parts of yourself. Looking in the mirror and looking at all the aspects and 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 di diving deep. But this is also twin flame connection, mirror the mirroring and everything. Okay, so the mirroring and what's this is a going against the grain. Oh, I turned right to it. Oh, this is amazing. <laughs> so amazing. It happens all the time. It's amazing. So going against the grain says you want birds to be able to fly underwater. You want love to trump power. You want humanity to relate to each other as equals. Okay. So you must go against the grain. It is just your way. You are not one of the followers but one of the agitators. However, yours is not a force of disrespect to chaos. You are a loving catalyst, and by simply being yourself, you constantly remind people that there is always another way. This oracle comes with the particular guidance that you are meant to be exactly as you are. You are meant to be the black sheep, or the rainbow sheep, or even the wild wolf and the flock of sheep. Or hey, how about a... A uh, rainbow unicorn, for that matter. I mean, yes, we're unicorns. And merch, merchandise. Okay. Going against the grain. So this is, don't worry about the effects. Okay, don't worry about what's going to happen. The daring butterfly spirit calling to the caterpillars. That is you. The price you pay for the gift of individuality is that you must take care of it and guard it so that you are not dulled down, right? Like this, this come to life. So that you are not dulled down. Where, I lost, sorry you guys, left, where is it? Okay, and conditioned into playing at being something you are not. So this is being the authentic truth. She's underneath the water. She's submerged. Submerge yourself in this energy. I don't want to read too much. I want to keep the flow of this reading going. Spirit, tell us about this conscious connections. Power of attraction. <laughs> yeah. Follow your own rhythm. Okay. So clarifying this this conscious creation. Definitely a twin flame reading because look at this, guys. Look at that. The two looking at each other, staring at each other. You are me. I am you. Oh my gosh. It's crazy. Right? I know. Okay. Be, I'm being very sarcastic. Okay. So, but let's stay in the flow of the good vibes because it's a higher love connection it's with all of these um, honeycombs how they're connected it's all connected and woven interwoven in with the masculine and the feminine in oneness and in, in balance with the 13 there which is a 4 which is stability following your own rhythm you Okay, so this is beautiful. This is, is a message of you are your own unique self. Okay, don't worry. Just because you're doing flame, like you are you still. Okay, so <laughs> follow your own rhythm. Dance the way you want to dance. Which way? It's is leading you. It's a number five, which is of change. So yes, you are your authentic self in this connection, okay? So that's the message. You're each individual's unique in your own, yet you're one. One energy, one source. Split into two, masculine and feminine. Anyway, so that's for Twin Flame Energy Messages with the Conscious Connections. Okay, so let's get a... Let's tap 
into the liquid crystal. Jeez. Okay, so yesterday was uh, my card almost caught on fire, and it was that fiery energy from, from the Sagittarius moon, and it was um, it went psh, almost to the to the flames, and I caught it. It was crazy. A lot of passion, fiery energy is coming through the middle road. Amaz, I Amaz, I can't say you guys. The middle road. What is that? Laughter. The middle road. So just based off not reading the book, because the book is uh, by my bed right now, so. But based off of what I get from here is laughter. This middle road. Let's give it, it's about, pers I'm feeling this is about perspective. Having laughter and also fun and joy. Because this is amber, this is laughter, okay? Let's get one on Amazonite, Am Amazonite, Amber. These are Crystal Oracle, Liquid Crystal Oracle decks, okay? We've got patience here, definitely patience. Patience for things to come in, okay? Okay. So, we have the middle road, Amazonite, patience. Emotional magnification, definitely. Okay, so this makes sense. Okay, so emotional magnification, okay, magnifying, looking deep down on some emotions coming up with the full moon, emotions coming up, magnification. So the emotions being magnified, um, maybe, you know, uh, magnified, like, yeah, basically is what it says. Um, things being brought up to the surface, emotions being all over the place with this middle road where am i going I'm in the middle of this road and which path to take is a lot going on as well to have laughter about it and know that you are you're guided okay walk your truth in your path and emotions will arise okay emotions will arise and we but we have patience here which is rotenite rotenite i think i have rotenite I'm not sure. I have. Yeah. Oh Lord, that's a lot. That's a lot. Oh my gosh, it's a, that's a pound, a pound, a pound of cards. Okay, I'm gonna take these two. Equality and love, the healing art, beautiful. With celebration, going beyond normal. Following your intuition, letting go, moving forward, okay? On your sacred journey, on your sacred path, walking your truth, laughing about it, okay? Having some humor about this, the whole experience being human and this awakening journey. Like, seriously, you guys? 18, 18 on the clock, that might mean something, okay? 99, which is portals. I don't know why I'm saying portals, but things wrapping up, closing. Okay, we have the healing heart, diopetase, and morganite. Okay, that's beautiful because we have an equality and love in the healing heart. This is the healing heart. Some activations on here. If you can see, there's like a bean. Each one has its own deva, like a David kingdom. It's the crystals, the stones, the gemstones. In celebration, how, how many? Okay, so we're under 20 minutes. All right. <laughs> we're, we're doing good. So. I'm going to go ahead and let's see what's next here. How about for Gaia? We have Karma. Yes, DNA and Karma. As the DNA is being upgraded, you guys, I'm just transformed, really transforming into what I tell you, you guys, like my body is shifting. I feel more crystalline I don't know my skin's glowing I'm like I've integrated so much freaking light and you know what I'm talking about okay that light plasmic energy whatever it's called just energy that comes from the central sun and the sun and all that the galactic send us it's it's revamping everything redoing stuff okay it's working its stuff so we have karma here 
Okay, karma like I'm talking about. Yes, yeah, ceremony, invocation, clearing that shit away. You know, using the moon cycles to clear to clear out things that you no longer want. Using the ceremony, the candles, just having a candle and praying onto it and, and declaring. I'm gonna say prayer. Prayer is great, 2020 on the clock, but it's like invocation means that you declare as a sovereign being, like that uh, however that you do it, however you pray or however is everybody has their own unique vibe, you know what I mean? Like way of doing things, unfoldment. Yeah. So using ceremony, clearing the karma, also knowing that it is that it is done. Um some people a lot of people scratch that. Let's continue spirit. <laughs> I'm going on tangents. Let's keep it keep it flowing. We have unfoldment, the lotus flower. It's all unfolding. Yeah, things might be submerged. Okay, we've submerged here. Some things might be submerged. You may not be able to see what is beneath this ice the glacier over here. It will wait for it to melt and God will reveal. Okay, it's unfolding here. The submergement is unfolding. This karma is being cleared. We're going to celebrate. Lots of celebrations coming in. Okay. We have eagle communion. So that's a communion. That this is beautiful. This is that energy of the the self and spirit in communion with one another. Of the eagle. Eagle is a very sacred animal. It can see from up above. The duality and can see beyond and knows the highest truth and is connected directly to the source beautiful so that this can be cleared out okay that we can use our ceremony our invocation of spirit to clear this out to let it unfold be what's been submerged come out into the light wow okay <laughs> and reflection Ceremony causes a reflection. When you're okay, we're, when you're in this space and you're invocating, you're praying, you're doing your thing. This is that winter solstice. That's what it says, and this is ceremony. So maybe hey, this might be a message, a ceremony that you did, that you did uh, winter solstice time, and it could be have to do with karmic cycles is unfolding, it's clearing. That might be a message for somebody out there. But it's reflection. There's a lot of reflection and going within when you're in a ceremony, when you're when you're in your own prayer, or you're in your own thoughts, you're meditating, whatever it is. You could be doing the dishes and it's like a ceremony. You can create anything into a, a sacred, everything can be sacred. Sacred meaning it is life that is appreciated. You're putting your power, you're putting your energy. Your energy is your life force your energy is your currency right yeah that's what i'm saying your energy is your currency you know that's why there's a lot of people who are are readers intuitive psychic because we all have that gift and we're all helping each other um but we're also producing and creating a flow of abundance i think it's awesome and there's release here, definitely. There's this release. I oh, I feel like there's a release, a particular in the winter solstice time. There might be, not might be. There is. Okay, the cards are showing me that around the time of winter solstice, between autumn equinox, winter solstice that time, there is a release. A ceremony having to do with, or a prayer even, a prayer, some type of action to the to the spiritual realm, because we have the spiritual realm here, of a cycle, because of the snakes here, of karma, this is talking about karma, so there was a release, okay, during that time, or having to do with a release, so it could have been, it could have been something like, doing um, a prayer or in, or a ceremony or any type of yeah you know what I mean at that time to clear this out and now it is let's see now we're now because we, we have celebration here and then it's gonna unfold so now the flower is blossoming it's growing from this invocation that was done 
Wow, I'm getting bigger messages here. Or like more specific, I guess. So something was uh, is unfolding. It's now unfolding. What was submerged will be revealed. What was hidden. Wow, okay. Yeah, it's shape-shifting. So it's shifting energies now. Okay. Oh, Mother Gaia giving us some cool messages. That was a very specific message the way I read that. Yep, creation. We're in creation time. Look at that. And you guys, I won't always have the blue light on because I know this isn't the best lighting, but I really like the atmosphere. And that's why I felt like doing a reading. It felt right. It's it's 11 11 right now. Oh my gosh. Woo! So, okay, you guys. We got this dream time creation. There, that way you can see the dream time creations. I got this aboriginal dude with like the uh, rain stick. Whatever you call it, <laughs> didgeridoo. It's creation time. Yep, get in the forest, be one with nature, breathe. And yeah, solitude. Okay, going within. A lot of, of this reflecting, breathing, solitude. Okay, going within because. That's where you get all your ideas, really. So, yeah, lots of cards about stillness, going within, breathe, solitude, because get ready, you're going to create some massive sh changes and shifts in your life. Creation, dream time. And it's also a card about you're in your dream time, creating what you are creating in all different timelines and aspects and you guys are so much out there that beyond the 3D, just go within and ask your guides like and, and team and try to remember your dreams, write them down. Um, but just know like that you're you're doing a lot also that you not may be aware of beyond the conscious mind. Okay, lots of things going on behind the scenes. And this childhood innocence, beautiful. This is calling us to play, to get outside, play, and connect to that innocence in us, okay? Of childhood, work of being connected to your inner child. And I've been, I've been doing that and remembering the inner nurture protector in the chi inner child and letting that come out. Anything else, spirit? <laughs> Is there anything else you want to say? Celebration, baby. Celebration. Dance. I'm telling you guys, I, I'm 28, 28. I'm seeing so many. Oh my gosh. That's like the third, fourth number sync that I've... Well, Luna Ash was talking about this on her channel, but the synchronicity is increasing. Are they increasing, you guys? Are they increasing? I don't want to see my blue skin. This is how I look like my Syrian self is a little bluish color. You know, like Avatar. Celebration, baby. I'm pretty pumped up because I went to the gym today and I haven't gone so long, but gosh, exercise is where it's at. Oh my gosh. That's how you get energy. Did you know that? Okay, I'm being sarcastic, you guys. You know, just so much going on within the fields, fields around me, and in the ether, connecting to very many timelines, quantum energies. It's crazy. It's fun. It's fun. But, it, you know, yeah. So we have two cards about celebration. Look at that. Beautiful. That's it, you guys. Namaste. Have a good day, night. It's nighttime, but you know what I mean. Really good energies. I'm in my mood. I might do some more videos. I kind of like it. I do it like this. 
Um, you can see the cards. <sighs> Beautiful goddess body. Uh, I'm really taking taking better care of this vessel because it's take care of your vessels you guys we're getting upgraded and um, it's it works out better if you're taking care of it <laughs> I think we all know this we know this right we know this we know a lot of truths that are good for us but sometimes we ignore ourselves, right? We ignore our higher selves and yeah, massive changes are coming. They're here. Summertime, summer solstice, dude, it's like in a couple days. 18, yeah, summer solstice. Oh my gosh, no wonder I'm like channeling so much. Okay. Hmm. Huh. Celebrate, it says celebration. So yeah, something something that occurred, some type of prayer, a ritual manifestation, whatever was this invocation, it's manifesting, it's gonna manifest this clearing of karma. There's a wrap up going on. We've got this, cause look at it's wrapping itself around this pole. The DNA, the karma, DNA upgrades. So definitely that's not been in the energies okay we've been in this energy of definitely of wrapping up cycles um yeah and especially with the um i don't know if you can see the snake the coiled up snake wow she's she's brave to be, <laughs> i'm just kidding working with snakes she's got a snake right there kinds of magical things. Her, she's got her crystals, her candle. So yeah, whatever uh, during that winter fall break or that time, something this was invocated. Something was prayed on. The ceremony. Okay. It could be as basic as lighting a candle and stating your intentions. But now it's manifesting because it's time to celebrate. There's going to be some celebration. Okay, so just know that for yourself. Okay, all right, peace out. Love ya. Yes, we're unicorns. <laughs>